In spite of being densely populated, the Antwerp district of Merixem has several parks, each one surrounding a castle. Hof van Rosendal Castle is in fact only the gatehouse of a much larger castle that meanwhile disappeared. It now houses the royal circle of local history. The grounds of this castle almost unnoticeably flow into a park with the same name, Rosendal Park, which is Merixem's municipal park. This park provides tranquility at less than 300 meters from the hectic Breda Bahn, Merixem's main street. This has not always been a public park. It used to be the private property of Karolesburg Castle. After the death of the owner, who left it to his maid, the municipality of Merixem expropriated the castle and its grounds to turn them into a municipal park and a cemetery. In this park you can find a playground for the children as well as the district's indoor swimming pool. When we cross the Breda Bahn, we already find a third park, Buchenborg Park. We are now in the Gaston Berichmannsdreef, named after one of the most famous residents of Merixen, the late actor and comedian Gaston Berichmanns. Here in a few pictures that were taken in his flat with my mother, her sister, and the daughter of her brother during the handover of a painting by my late uncle François Lénartz. We follow this lane to Buchenborg Castle, which houses the cultural centre of Merxen, while the outbuildings are being used as a youth centre. Buchenborg Park also comprises a wild orchard and a pond. We are now in Rönkfurt Park. This park used to belong to the convent gardens of a monastic order of sisters. The municipality of Merixen bought the property in 1970 and turned it into a public park. Rönkfurt Hof Castle, built in the middle of the 16th century, consists of the main building, which is the actual castle, a servant's wing and a monastery. The dilapidated buildings are now under complete renovation. Castle and servants quarters will be turned into five family houses, one studio and one loft, which will then be put up for rent. The coach house will become a commercial property and the district council is still looking for a leaseholder for the monastery. I have no idea what the rental prices are going to be, but I can imagine that living in a house with all modern amenities, which is part of a 16th century castle, appeals to many. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Home Base Belgium. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. My name is Paul. See you again next time.